TU100, My Digital Life, Sense and... Oi! Come out with my title! In this video, we're going to return to the polygon drawing program that was completed in session 1.7. In the next exercise, we'll modify that program to make use of a variable to store the number of sides. This will not change the effect of the program, but in a subsequent exercise, you'll exploit this use of the variable to improve the program. So open the project SBG underscore project underscore 09, which contains the completed program from the programming exercise 7. Immediately save this with the underscore SOL. Run the program to remind yourself what it does. Make sure that the icon for pointer is selected in the gray pane below the stage. Go to the variables palette and click on the make a variable button. This dialog box opens to ask you for the name of the new variable and note that this dialog box is slightly different from the one you got when you created variables previously. Type in sides as shown here and click on the OK button and leave it with the for pointer only radio button selected. Drag this block from the variables palette and drop it into your script directly below the green flag block. Ensure that its first input box is set to the variable sides and its second to six. And when executed, this block will set the value of the sides to six. Go back to the variables palette and click on the sides variable. Drag it to your script and drop it into the input box of the inner repeat block, replacing the six originally there like this. Save your project and run the program. So when you created the sides variable, the dialog box you got was slightly different from the ones you got when you created variables in programming exercise 8. Those dialog boxes only asked you for the name of the new variable. The dialog box for this program had two radio buttons labelled for pointer only and global and you could select between them. In Sense, every variable is either a global or local variable. A global variable can be used anywhere in the project in which it's defined. That is, by any sprite in the project and by the stage. A local variable can only be used by the sprite for which it was created. In Programming Exercise 8, the scripting pane was associated with a stage, not with a sprite, and any variables created for the stage are automatically global. Because the current project has a sprite, the pointer, and because that sprite is selected rather than the stage, the scripting pane is associated with that sprite. So when you clicked on the make a variable button, Sense wants to know whether you want the new variable to be local to the sprite, in other words not used by the stage or any other sprite, or global accessible to any other sprite in the project and to the stage. By leaving for pointer only selected, you chose to make the sides variable local to the pointer sprite. You may also have noticed that Sense labeled the variable watcher slightly differently in the current project, prefixing the name of the variable with the name of the sprite to which it was local. Now that you've introduced the variable sides, your program should behave exactly as it did before, but this time it's making use of the variable. This block sets the value of the variable sides to six, and the repeat block takes the value of sides as its input value, and hence the inner loop is repeated six times, just as before. The concept of global and local variables does take a bit of getting used to, and you really need to understand how this naming process can affect programs. But don't worry if it's not too clear at the moment, as it is a topic that we will return to later with practical examples. And don't forget, you can rewind and pause these videos as often as you need. You'll get the most value out of the videos this way, and try to produce on your own copy of Sense the examples that you see on your screen. In the next video, we'll talk about naming variables. Bye for now.